Here's another blade saving type idea tip. You know the ah, I don't even have it here. The exact the knife that I use, the Ulfa knives, where they've got the you know snap off blade. Hey, when it gets dull, you can snap it off. Okay. On these X-Acto knives, you know the metal aluminum knurled ones or these red handled guys where you have the pointy blade, eh? You can do the same thing with those, eh? Once it, once that point is worn off and you can't, it's not cutting, because most of us just use a little point for the start. Grab your trusty wire cutters, the bigger ones. Go about, you know, a little bit down the blade. Voila! You know, now you got a nice sharp point again, eh? You can do that about three or four times on those pointy little blades, eh? Because so they're little guys are expensive, hey. Especially if you buy them in the the single containers, you know, like they've got five in the thing. So, anyways, there you go. You can sharpen those quite a few times, hey, by using your wire cutters. I've seen this shelf here behind me in some of the videos. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I use for uh, weathering, and and this is uh, stuff that you can create yourself, okay? Uh, kitty litter. Great stuff, actually. It take a wash really nice and soak into it. Uh, glues with white glue. You can pulverize it, make it smaller. These are just natural type uh, rock. They are uh, landscaping rock. Now, I've got various sizes of little rocks all the way down to you know finer sand and the reason why I have so many different sized rocks is when you're working with a little piece that's one of the mistakes a lot of people make is they have their their sand and their ground covers or their ballast along their train tracks or the rock that's sitting beside the catapult the wrong scale, it's just wrong size and in turn it looks funny. You know, I mean, in, in real life you would know that, my goodness, that's a ton and a half for that rock. There's no way that guy can pick it up, okay? Either that or the sand is, you know, boulders the size of, you know, a uh, watermelon or something, okay? So sift, sift your sand down to various sizes. This stuff is our, our moss, our sphagnum moss, you can use this for uh, little trees. I use this for actually uh, vines and little bushes alongside, uh, you know, fine hobbit house type things or uh, I, I made the, the brie, the in at brie and uh, use these for decorations. It looks really good, okay. They're actually also what I used on one of these grapevines, okay. This is 15 mil scale grapevines. I've just separated little pieces of hard stock, put them on here, and then painted them brown. Then flocked them with a uh, flocking. Uh, same stuff Games Workshop has. Same, uh, I get woodland scenics, or I used to. Now I grind up a lot of stuff myself, but it's hard to find uh, foams in different colors. And uh, I don't have the technology to dye foams yet. The rest of the stuff, that's basically what all this stuff here is in various colors of flocking. This is, you know, black, I've got trees, I've got sands, I've got clumping kind, uh, lots of it. Uh, if you find it at a decent price, pick up some because it is kind of handy stuff.